it's me Sarah welcome back to Soul Creative I'm here to share another altered uh, planner with you guys this one is the bigger size uh, see if I can find my roller this one measures about seven and three quarter by about nine and a half So this one has a tassel on it like the other ones and it has a little charm here of a moon and a mermaid and then it has some beads on it, some sari silk, some laces, some pretty stretchy ruffle trim and here's the beads. That's that. Then up on the front of the cover is a piece of this old vintage trim that I have. And it kind of reminded me of a um, starfish. And then I just layered, I had some of this burlap trim with lace on it. I put another piece of lace on top of that. I hung a little uh, seashell on this coilless uh, paper clip or safety pin. And then some more of that Hobby Lobby trim. Some more of this burlap. And then I had some crocheted trim. And it kind of reminded me of like a seashell and netting. And then I had some of this netting left over and some of this was left over from like a table runner. So I sewed this image on and then there's a pocket underneath here. And it has this cute little image on here. It says the sea calls to me and I put some stickers on here and then I had leftovers so I made these little cute little tags and one says hit the waves I love the beach and then this is from the paper one of the paper pads I used it said to unpad waters on dream shores and it's a Shakespeare quote and that's just hold, held on with a little uh, ball pen now inside the make this pocket I used a pulse envelope like inside it reminded me of waves I just thought that was something really cute and then I just stitched around it I added this really pretty mermaid trim that I got at Hobby Lobby uh, and I used a bunch of different fibers up here and some of that creepy cloth underneath there and then I just put some coffee dye paper so you can journal on that and I just layered up a bunch of different trims to make this pocket this there's like a crinkled fabric underneath there the light mint colored one that was a uh, curtain so I used this teal colored uh, order planner or planner so then you open it up and it says mermaids here I have that image of a mermaid and then I have all the little uh, postcards in there I have a little uh, Tim Holtz paper clip with a little tassel and then I have this journaling card right here I think that's all I put in this one. That peeks out of there. And then in this pocket, I used, uh, it says mermaids. That's from the end cut of a pa the paper from Mrs. Coggs. And then I put, use these Tim Holtz stamps. Use these Tim Holtz stamps and I stamped the seahorse and the starfish I just put trims all over differently different spots 
There's the sand dollar. And then this image from Mrs. Cogs. And that's just sorry silks that I had and I got them from Boho Daydreams on Etsy and I got them from there's another shop too I'll have to list that below so then I used this pocket it just felt like it it was perfect for this journal so I used it right here there was a lot of different colors of this coral in this paper pad that I used. There's a postcard and then here's another uh, index card. It's tea dyed and I just used some trim and I used the Tim Holtz stamps. And then I just used Sorry Silk and I used some of these stamps. Dream Higher Than the Sky and Deeper Than the Ocean. And then there's that one, and it's Stampers Anonymous. That's another index card. And this one has, it'll have the big card like this, and then the tea dyed or coffee dyed paper. And then I covered her, uh, chest up with one of these little crochets. I just thought it was cute. <laughs> just in case somebody wanted to give it to a younger girl and their mom or parents weren't ready for them to have something showing off their chest. Not that it's wrong or bad or right or wrong or... Anywho. So then I have these little tuck spots. And then I use this paper pad. I think this one is from Hobby Lobby or Joann's. It might be Michael's. But this opens up. You can journal inside here. You can put a photo right here. And then you got the beautiful woman. Uh, not woman, but mermaid. And then this swings open. And I have Seize the Day life's at ease with the ocean breeze and swim with passion in the, in the sea life and then you can journal on the back and there's just a bob pin with a little seahorse and that just helps keep it shut and i got that beautiful sorry silk on the side here and then a, a life on the ocean waves and then that just looks like waves and got this journaling spot with the little index card made of pockets. There's some more of that fluffy trim. Just layering with different fa fibers and fabrics, trims. I just did this. I just thought it was really cute. Right here, this one, it'll slide up. You can pop this open and journal underneath. And then you pop it back down. And you slide that back over. And then, got these cute little... I have this trim, and it kind of reminded me of, like... Oh, uh, like seaweed or it's not green but I don't know it just kind of reminded me of like coral or something to do with the sea and then I had this really pretty trim oh my goodness it took me everything in my might to be able to use these trims and these but it just turned out so beautiful I think and then a little uh, starfish and then just different fibers up here. And that's another Tim Holtz stamp. but sticker. And just different laces throughout here. Some, some more sorry silk. 
just different fibers through the top. Here, uh, this is magnetic. You lift it up and you can journal underneath here. There is another stamp and the sari silk topper and then this goes down and that'll lay on top of it. It says mermaids. Back here, this is a belly band and it can, this is a little pocket as well. And then I made this to look like her tail. And Mrs. Coggs, when she made a mermaid journal, it looked similar to that. So I just loved how it looked, so I wanted to do that. Another, this is printed out on label paper. So it's a little more dull and dingy, but it turned out really pretty. I just put some appliques. They reminded me of like waves and like splash marks. And there's a, a seashell right there. I just added little tails on these ones. And more of the stamps on these little index cards. These are really grungy um, coffee dye papers. But they reminded me of sand. So I kept them in here. Really pretty sorry silks. Another one of those, that stamp. I just put an applique up there. This right here lifts up and I just added different off cuts of scrap paper on here. And then on the other side you can journal and I just add some trims right there. Just give something different and some texture. And then here's a little tuck spot, another stamp. Another stamp here, and I just did some trim, and <laughs> this little applique I had left over, and I was like, oh my goodness, it kind of reminds me of a fish body, so I just put the button as the head, and then I made, kind of looks like a fish, and then just some of the trim on there, and it says mer people, and can tuck something underneath there. This right here is kind of like one of the other pages. It flips open. You can journal right there. You can tuck stuff underneath there. There's two tuck spots. And then you flip it back over. There's some pretty sorry silk and lace. And they just kind of act like they keep it shut. Another tuck spot right there and this is on sticky paper. There's a tag here. Another beautiful image. I like this one. It's, you know, it's plain but it gives it that, I don't know. I sewed this pocket on the back of this and then this is um, sewn onto this piece right here, and then I just have a journaling card put behind it, and then I just clipped it on so it would stay on there. This flips up, you can journal underneath here, a couple more index cards. Beautiful image. And then right here, this flips up. A couple more journaling spots. And then I stamped like little bubbles right there. Put a fabric cluster right there. And then here is the trim on the side. And then I just put some washi tape right here. And then stamped another image. And then this is also a pocket, so you could store something inside there. I got the dividers in here. This one don't come with the paper, or this one will come with the paper pad too, or the paper. 
And then I got the note paper right here and then the pen. And I just stamped a little seahorse on this one. There's also a pocket back here. So let me show you the sides of this one. There's a couple beaded charms hanging from the tabs as well. And so that's the side image. It's really pretty. And let me get the tassel out of there. It's kind of stuck up in there. And the thing about the tassel is if you don't like it, um, you can take it out. So. There's that pretty image from the side. Beautiful. And this one will be listed up in the Etsy store. And I had another one, but that one just sold not that long ago. So this one's available now. So let me know what you guys think. I had so much fun making these. Um, I do have a few more uh, that I bought or found. And they're not brand new, but they look brand new. So I'm going to alter those up. And I'm not sure what themes I'm going to do. I want to try to do something different. Maybe do like a bo boho theme. I really want to do boho. I'm kind of discouraged by it. But... I'm gonna try. So, anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Welcome to all my newest subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, it's nice to see you guys here and um, say hi and say hello. And I will try to comment back as soon as possible. Uh, thank you all for your lovely comments. And if you don't comment, that's fine. I appreciate you watching the video. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And until then, I will see you when I see you. Later.